Hey y'all and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kay and this is my channel where I share all about my making adventures. Today I just have a lot of knitting to share with you. Only knitting today? Mostly socks as usual. <laughs> uh, today is June 27th. It is 8.58 a.m. This is episode 236. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as the Crazy Sock Lady, and I will have links right down below this video for everywhere that you can find me, as well as any links to shops that I talk about, links to my Amazon storefront, uh, product pages are all linked below. All that's right down there for you. But I hope you are ready to talk yarn today because there's a lot. I have a couple of finished objects, some works in progress, some things that arrived over at the P.O. box, as well as a few yarns I grabbed off of the shelf over here for cast-ons that are probably going to happen tomorrow. Maybe today if I have a chance, but probably tomorrow for a couple of vanilla socks. So we've got lots to share today. So grab something to drink, something to sip on, something to work on, and let's get started. I, of course, have iced coffee today. It's hot. <laughs> There's always coffee, but today and last week, it, it's iced. All right, so I have two finished objects. Both are socks. The first pair I have already gifted, so I do not have this here to show you, but I will put a picture right up here on the screen. This is yarn from Mama Jess Knits. It is the Pool Party Sock Set. I knit these on 9-inch circulars, just using my Vanilla Socks on 9-inch circulars pattern. I used a US 0 2mm, did 64 stitches, did 20 five rounds maybe total for the cuff. I did do the pop of color at the cuff uh, that I like to do and I do have a tutorial for the socks as well as the pop of color at the cuff over on or over on YouTube. Here on YouTube. You're watching this on YouTube. <laughs> um, this was pair 42 for the year, pair 7 for summer sock camp and I started them on June 15th and finished them on June 21st. I love this contrast color that was in this sock set, the mini. Um, it just looks so good for heels, toes, and that pop of color at the cuff. I also, just last night, these were listed as a work in progress. I usually do my notes on Wednesday for the episode I'm going to record on Thursday. And last night I finished these socks off. So they were a work in progress when I did my notes, but now, now they are a finished object. I finished a pair of scrappy socks. These, if I can, can hold the sock blocker. <laughs> these are using up leftovers from a wallop cowl that I'm making that I'll show in just a bit. And this is all leftover Legacy Fiber Arts yarn from their 2023 advent calendar. And I didn't do a certain, so first let me say, I did vanilla socks on nine inch circulars, again, using um, US Zero two millimeter Chowgu nine inch circular. And I did not do like a set amount of rounds for each color. It is, I had leftovers from the cowl, weighed it, divided that by two, and then did half in one sock, half in the other. So the rounds match from sock to sock, but it's not like, 10 rounds, 10 rounds, 10 rounds, 10 rounds. Some were eight, some were, I think one was 13. Like there's no set amount. Did 25 rounds, I think for the cuff, um, knit two pearl, two ribbing, 60 rounds for the leg. Here is these. Finished them off last night, wove the ends in, everything. Love these so much. These are also for a gift. A lot of my socks recently have been for gifts. So yeah, these are also for a gift. Um, 64 stitches as well for these. These were pair number 43 for the year, pair number eight for summer sock camp. And I started these on June 8th and finished them on June 26th. I still need to weigh them, put them in my book. I am still keeping track. I did not go over my May stats, somebody did um, point that out, but I am still keeping track. And if I remember, I will go over them <laughs> in July for what June's were. 
Um, but I am still keeping track just for personal reference, just because I think it'll be fun to keep track of things for the year, like grams in, grams out. Um, I always keep track of usually how many anymore. I didn't always, but I try to now keep track of like how many socks I knit, etc. So yeah, still keeping track of that. I still need to add these into that book, get some pictures and post them on Instagram, but they are done. So now the leftovers from my wallop cowl, cause I'm not done with that yet. You're going to see that. Let's go ahead and show it actually, cause we're done with finished objects. Um, I still have leftovers from this cause I'm not done with it yet. So I'm going to start another pair of scrappy socks. Maybe today if I have a chance, um, and then th it will not make a complete, actually I'm looking at this and like, maybe I could do a pair of shorty socks. I need to see how many, I could make a pair of shorty socks for the person that these are going to be for. That would be fun. Maybe I'll do that. We'll see. If I decide to do a regular full length pair of socks, I will just finish it off with other scraps. Good Lord knows I got enough scraps <laughs> to pull from. So that is what I will do. So my wallop cowl, I cannot remember the designer's name, but I do have the pattern linked on the project page. I have all of my changes, notes, anything like that written over on the Ravelry project page as well. But here, this is the start, it has a provisional cast on. I'll show you the progress so far. It is so long. These yarns are not in the order they came in the advent calendar. I'm just pulling from Ziploc bag. Here is the mini I am on today. I'm not done yet. I do 23 rounds total of each color. And I do that eyelet transition, I have it noted on my Ravelry project page, but I do it the first round of every new color. I just love how that looks. So I have the mini that I'm on right now, and then one, two, three, four, five more to go after that. Um, I think when I, no, maybe that was right. I was just thinking, I think when I counted on my membership video the other day, I counted wrong. I think I, I don't think, I think one was buried, but I don't know if that's correct or not. Um, anyways, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> that's what I have right now. Uh, five left after today. So if I keep up with one a day, which is questionable because we have company coming into town, but if I keep up with one a day, I, sh I could have it done in five, six days ish. I should be able to keep up with this. I feel like with company because I do this during my Bible recap time and I get up at 4 30 in the morning. So I should still be able to get that. <laughs> Nobody else gets up as early as I do. <laughs> All right. Um, other works in progress are socks. I have my treadmill socks. I have one of them done. This is in a bag. Oh, I didn't even show, which I've shown it previous weeks, but it's in a bag from Allegheny Fiber Arts. Yes. Allegheny Fiber Arts. I got this at the wool gathering in Yellow Springs, Ohio, the year before last, I think. This pair is in a bag from Barley Pearls. And this is using up that leftover yarn. Um, well, not really leftover yarn. That yarn that I had caked up for a sweater, didn't end up using for a sweater. It is, I think it's Fuse Fiber Studio. They are no longer in business. The color is Shelter. Here is the first sock. I have a charm on here, a Game Boy charm from Littlest Charm Co. So cute. <laughs> These are for Wyatt. I did decide that. So another gift <laughs> pair. And here's my progress on the second one. So these just live on the treadmill. I did take the first sock off occasionally, like I finished off the heel off the treadmill. I did the toe off the treadmill, started this off the treadmill. So here and there I'll grab them if it's like in a spot that I'm like, I don't feel like fussing with that while I'm walking and listening to, you know, something or watching something. So I will just take it upstairs and do it then. But yeah, progress on these. Again, nine inch circulars. US zero, two millimeter, 64 stitches. <laughs> I did only 20 rounds for the cuff on these, knit two, purl two ribbing. 
But other than that, I'm following the nine inch circular vanilla socks on nine inch circular pattern to a T. Lots of vanilla sock knitting going on around here because that's just what I want and what I enjoy the most. <laughs> this is, is another sock project. Shocker. I'm sure you're so surprised. This is a bag from Midwest Stitches. Such a gorgeous bag. This is the last sock project or last um, work in progress. That's the word I was looking for that I have to show you today. I didn't bring down my EPP or white sweater. I've only touched them here and there. So we'll show those again. I was going to say next week, but reminder, there will be no videos next week. I am taking the week off. Family is going to be in town. Um, it'll be Wyatt's birthday. We have a couple things going on, 4th of July. So yeah, no videos next week. Um, so you, maybe you'll see Wyatt's sweater the week after that. <laughs> but this is, do I have a tag for this one? Yes, yes I do. This is Yarnable, the June color. And I have one sock has the heel done. And I've picked up the gusset stitches. I have another Littlest Charm Co. <laughs> Look how cute that is. I call this my cow pig. It's a pig, but since it's like white with black spots, I don't know, I, I call it a cow pig. And then this one, I am in the heel right now. I'm on the heel flap. This one has another Littlest Charm Co. Raccoon. So yeah, vanilla socks, nine inch circulars. I've really been enjoying splitting that cake of yarn. I cake it up, then I put it on a scale, cake up half, cake up the other half, um, and start both the socks. And that's what I'm gonna do with the two yarns I'm gonna show you here in a moment. Um, so that I have a lot of vanilla knitting for when company's in town. I always over prepare for if company is gonna be here or we're going somewhere, I always over prepare, have way more knitting than I will need. So there's no way I will finish these and get two pairs of socks done. <laughs> but so much better to be over prepared than under prepared. And this will last me through company coming. We are also going to see, um, this is not until after the 4th of July, that following Saturday, we are gonna go see the Beach Boys with John Stamos and I, I'm probably gonna cry. It's ridiculous, I know, but I love Full House. <laughs> Still to this day, I love Full House, I love Fuller House, I love John Stamos, I love the whole cast, like I just, I love Full House. Um, and I used to love, some of my favorite episodes are when the Beach Boys would come on. So getting, I've seen the Beach Boys in concert before, but John Samus was not with them. And we were debating going and seeing them again this summer because they're gonna be around here in a couple of locations. But it was kind of like, oh, we've seen them before. Ticket prices have went up so much. I apologize, I'm going off on a total tangent here. I will pull this back to the knitting in a minute. Um, <laughs> ticket prices are so expensive for any concert now that we just were like, we're not gonna do it this year. Um, but then, we were watching the Beach Boys documentary on was it Disney Plus, I think. And Eric just happened to see while we were watching that, that John, they'd announced some dates where John Stamos was gonna be with them. And there's one two hours away from us and we're going. And I'm so excited. But tying that back to the knitting, these socks may get me through, I'm showing you now the yarn, um, that I'm gonna cast on may get me through even traveling for that concert, maybe. And I might, depending on how hot it is, it's an outdoor concert, so maybe I'll take my knitting in with me. If it's too hot, I know I won't want to knit, but. Long-winded way to say, I'm gonna cast on those two socks. No way will I get them done this weekend, but maybe they'll last me all throughout the week next week with there being, you know, 4th of July, a holiday, um, through the concert maybe. If not, I'll grab another thing of yarn and start some more socks but these are going along. I should finish the heel on this second one tonight and um, 
get them both into the gusset decrease area then. Don't think there was anything else about those. Now that I showed you a little bit the yarn, 4th of July, if you can't tell, it's, that's what I'm in right now. So I've got Stitching With Yarn, Old Glory. Both of these are fingering weight, of course. So pretty. And then also Night Owl Fibers, Sweet Land of Liberty. This one's self-striping. They're both just going to be vanilla socks because all of the things going on this next week, we got too much going on. I want things I can just grab and go. So both of those will probably, I'll probably cake them up today, start them tomorrow, like prep the yarn, the bag, um, all that today. And then start it tomorrow. I'm thinking that's what I'll do. What else? I think that's it for like my knitting stuff. I did have a couple of things arrive in the mail. So there's some yarn from Bella Fio. I apologize if I am mispronouncing that. This is Darcy's Delight. It's a sock set. Oh, let's see here. Is that better? Not really. This camera. This camera, you guys, it just, it does what it wants with the colors. Let's see. If I hold it back here, that's a little better. And then this one is America the Beautiful. So these were over in the P.O. box. So sweet. And then also... Savannah of Monster Knits sent over so many goodies. She said, use some as prizes for summer sock camp. Keep some. There is a bunch of cage ruler slap bracelets. They have flowers on one side, and then there's a ruler on the other side. And then, oh my goodness. We have a lot. I'm just going to show some of these here. A lot of progress keepers. There's some stickers. More progress keepers. Some enamel pins. couple of these, which I just, I love these so, so much. They're progress keepers and they're sock blockers and there's just all different colors. They are so, so pretty. So I'm going to keep one of these actually. That's what I decided I'm going to keep. And then she did send me over a needle minder that is a sunflower to use for my EPP. So I'm excited about that too. But yeah, so that's what I decided to keep. And the rest I'm going to use for summer slot camp prizes that I ship out um, to add in with, with extra prizes. Maybe I'll put together a bundle that is its own prize with some of the goodies out of here. So that is all that came in the PO box. Oh, Savannah of Monster Knits did give a coupon code too. It is 10% off sock related items in her shop. The code is SSC2024. So I will, as always, have any shops that I talk about linked down below. Let me get these back in there. Their bag here. So that's kind of it for the knitting. I didn't have anything knitting wise that arrived in the mail. You've done good this past week. Uh, reading and watching. I'm still reading the Canadian West series and I'm still on book four. I'm not sure how far I am into it now, but still on book four. Still watching alone. I think we're on season nine now, possibly. And I'm behind on When Calls the Heart. I already know a good bit of what happens because I hunt out spoilers. I am that person <laughs> and I couldn't resist, but I'm still behind or I'm still watching it, but I'm behind on it. I think I have the last two episodes to watch. 
I think that's that's all I have today. Reminder, there will be no videos next week. I have family coming into town. That's kind of the live stuff going on. I'm getting the house ready, um, all of that for family coming into town and why it's birthdays coming up. Yeah, so busy week coming up, then the Beach Boys concert. So busy week coming up. Um, I hope that you all have a good 4th of July. If you're here in the States, have a good 4th of July. And I will see you guys again two weeks. <laughs> it's crazy. It's going to be weird not doing videos next week. I'm not doing a membership video or a regular video. I have not taken a week off. Goodness, it's been a while. So taking a week off from videos, going to enjoy some time with the family. And I hope that y'all get to enjoy some time with your families as well. Your loved ones get to work on things that bring you joy. And I will see you again in a couple of weeks. Until then, happy making. Bye.